Hey, Cappuccino fans, welcome to Cappuccino Finance. We all love sports, it's great entertainment, all the drama, athleticism, strategy, and everything. When I was young, I always wanted to be a professional soccer player or baseball player. Then I find out that I'm not really good enough to play the English Premier League or Major League Baseball. So I quickly turn into an avid spectator and fantasy sports player. In my fantasy dream, I'm the owner of New York Yankees and Dallas Cowboys. And I'm very grateful of people who came up with the idea of fantasy sports. So in this video, I'll talk about the history of fantasy sports, key contributors, and current market size of fantasy sports. The very first fantasy sport was Sebring's Pellar Baseball, and it was a tabletop game. Francis Sebring was a pitcher for the Empire Baseball Club of New York in the 1860s, and invented this toy version of baseball game that can be played in indoor. The play involved propelling a coin as a pitch and hitting the coin with a pinball flipper. There were various holes in the board, and if the coin fell into a hole, it was an out. But if it stayed on the board, it was an hit. This game was a huge success, and it was described as the most attractive parlor game in vogue by major newspapers around the nation. Now time had passed, and in 1930, Clifford Van Vick designed a board game called the National Pastime. The game contained a customized baseball card of Major League Baseball player and dice. After rolling a pair of dice, the participant would consult the card to determine an outcome. The outcome can be single, double, home run or out, depending on a dice roll. The player with the better statistics in the previous season were more likely to get favorable outcomes, which is pretty close to preseason fantasy ranking these days. In 1951, American Professional Baseball Association, also known as APBA, introduced a baseball simulation game. The game contained a card of Major League Baseball players with the in-game outcomes correlate to their previous seasons. Then the participant of the game could compose fantasy teams from the card deck and play against another participant. Former President George H.W. Bush and George W. Bush were huge fans of this game. The main competitor of APBA was Stratomatic that was introduced in 1961. Stratomatic was also emulating the baseball game with a player's card and dice roll. Daniel Ockren, who is often credited with developing modern fantasy baseball, was an avid player of the Stratomatic game. Both games were very popular among baseball fans. Also, in 1961, the first computer version of fantasy baseball was created in IBM 1620. John Bergerson, the mid-level programmer at IBM at the time, loved the baseball and wanted to make a computer game. So, one day he called in sick and combined his coding skill and the love of baseball and created a computer game. In this game, a user could select a team from a roster and play against a team randomly selected by the computer. Then, the computer would use a random number generation and player statistics to simulate the game's outcome. It was a fascinating invention at the time. The modern form of fantasy draft started in 1960 by William Gamson. Gamson developed a baseball seminar league that participants would draft the roster of active Major League Baseball players and compare the result at the end of the season based on the player's final betting average, earned run average, runs betted in, and win totals. As you can see, this is pretty close how fantasy teams are formed and scores are calculated these days. So, Mr. Gamson gave a birth to Fantasy Draft and early version of the scoring system. Two years later, Oakland Raiders' Will Winkenbach, Bill Turnell, and Oakland Tribune reporter Scotty Sterling developed the rules and league structure of the modern fantasy football. The first league was called Greater Oakland Professional Pigskin Prognosticator League, G-O-P-P-P-L, and the first draft took a place in Winkenbach's home in Oakland. One of the league members owned a sports bar called King's X in the Bay Area, and the popularity of leagues spread in Bay Area by the word of mouth. Modern form of fantasy baseball was developed in the 1980s by a group of journalists. A magazine writer and editor, Daniel Ockren, is often credited with introducing a league structure, scoring system, and rules. The league was named Rotisserie League Baseball because the rotisserie was the name of the restaurant where the first fantasy baseball was played. This rotisserie baseball game gained popularity among all the journalists in the baseball. By the second season, 
there were Lotichery League games in every Major League Baseball press box. The fantasy sports got more and more popular, and in 1987, the first national magazine that dedicated to fantasy football was published, and it was called the Fantasy Football Index. After that, the flood of magazines and newspapers started to covering fantasy sports. One of the main challenges in the early days of fantasy sports was compiling live data. The introduction of internet in the early 90s solved this issue and popularized fantasy sports in a major way. In 1995, ESPN launched the first internet-based fantasy baseball game and many other sports and entertainment outlets followed the movement afterwards. In early 2000, fantasy sports became a mainstream hobby and many different types of fantasy games started to pop up. Daily fantasy sports that based on a daily outcome instead of full season was introduced in 2007, and many gambling sites like DraftKings and FanDuel started to pop up. Also, fantasy leagues in different sports like basketball, hockey, soccer, and golf started to become very popular as well. Since then, the fantasy sports have become a huge industry. According to Fantasy Sports and Gaming Association survey, more than 10% of American people are playing fantasy sports. As of 2019, the fantasy sports market was valued at $19 billion and is expected to reach $49 billion by 2027. Number of fantasy sports players grew from a half million in 1988 to 59 million in 2017. In the US, fantasy football is the most popular fantasy sport with 35 million people playing, and it is followed by baseball, basketball, and hockey. 78% of fantasy sports players participate in fantasy football. Yes, this is the history and development of fantasy sports. It started as an indoor baseball simulation game, and many people chipped in an idea and expanded the popularity. Then, the introduction of internet in the 1990s made a fantasy sports mainstream hobby and booming industry. I'm certainly a big fan of fantasy sports that allow me to be a sports team owner of my dream. And the fantasy baseball makes watching the regular season baseball a lot more interesting. Also, the fantasy football make me study the third string running back in NFL, otherwise I would never pay attention to. So it's certainly one of the greatest inventions ever. Thank you very much, thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed the show. Please like, share and subscribe to this video. Thank you very much.